Um, Brintag's YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be solving a problem that was featured in our numeracy booklet, which is the addition of these two numbers. And um, we're going to use the column method, which relies on us writing these numbers to match up their place value. So the units are matched up, the tens are matched up, and the hundreds are matched up. I'm just going to draw some lines for my answer. I'll put a plus sign to remind myself that we're at it. I'm going to start off by adding these two numbers. So 1 add 7 is 8. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to add 4 and 9. It gets a little bit trickier here because 4 and 9 um, takes us over 10. Uh, the answer for that is 13. So what we do is we write the unit 3 and carry on the 10 underneath. We're next going to add 2 to 8, which gives us 10. But what we can't forget to do is to add this 1. That will give us 11. Finally, we're going to take this 3. This here is empty. We can write a 0 if we like. So we have 3 add 0, which is 3. But we, again, we need to remember to add the 1, which leaves us with 4. So the answer to this addition is 4,138. The next question featured in our booklet is this subtraction here. 4,138 minus 3,241. We're going to use the column method again, which relies on us placing these numbers with matching place values. We must make sure to put this number first, however. That will be the number on the top of our question. Order is very important this time, unlike the addition question. So we're going to start with 8 to take away 1. Now 8 to take away 1 is pretty straightforward. That's 7. As we come across the place value into the tens column, we have 3 to take away 4. Now realistically, 3 to take away 4 is minus 1. To complete this method, we're going to say that we can't do 3 minus 4. And what we're going to, we're going to do, we're going to borrow from the hundreds column. Now when we borrow 1, this makes this 3 13, and this one 0. We've borrowed 1 to make this 13, and this becomes 0. This is now 13 take away 4. If we take 4 away from 13, that gives us 9. Moving to the hundreds column, we come, ac come across this problem again. 0 take away 2. Now 0 take away 2 is minus 2. But we still say that we can't do this using the column method. We're going to use the borrowing technique again, where we cross off the 4, make it a 3, and borrow 1 to now make this 10. This is now 10 take away 2, and 10 take away 2 is 8. Finally, we're going to do 3 take away 3, which is 0, or we can just leave it blank to have our answer 897. Thank you very much for listening. Um, see you soon.